welcome here. Welcome here. I didn't really think of what I was saying there. Hello. Today I filmed this look, obviously. It's my makeup that I wear when I don't know what makeup to wear. Or when I'm feeling a little bit lazy. Or exhausted. I am exhausted. Being a mom is tiring. Sometimes they just don't sleep. But I love them. <laughs> Anyways, this video has my updated foundation and contour routine in it. So there's that. Has my go-to favorite nude lip combo. Ah, new wig, new eyeballs. I think that's it. The sweater I'm wearing is from Arden. Ardeen. Ardenny. Denny's? Denny's. I'm hungry. Anyways, I hope you watch this tutorial. Just being honest. I know I look scary as heck today and my voice sounds a little bit off, but I am sick. I'm still cute. Obviously starting with my Mabel and Meg Luma Elixir Serum to fix my life. This is a hyaluronic acid vitamin C serum, which is pretty much good for all things skin. Then applying my Kat Von D Featherweight Primer and just putting it right on my face because that seemed like the laziest way to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and put my Too Faced Born This Way foundation right on my face too, because why not? After I blended it all out with my damp sponge, I decided that I needed more coverage because let's face it, I'm not looking so good. So I just put it right on the sponge and applied it again. Then using my Kat Von D Locket Concealer Cream to hide my unsightly, sleepless under eye bags and various other things. Then taking my White Out Locket Concealer Cream and adding some extra brightness into my dead face. Then I'm using my NYC translucent powder to set under my eyes with a sponge and my eyelids and then setting the rest of my face with my Kat Von D powder brush. Before I contour, I'm using a big fluffy brush and the bronzer from the Urban Decay Naked Flush palette just to warm up my face. Then going in with my Kat Von D contour palette, just adding a bit more depth to the hollows of my cheekbones, super super blended under my jawline and then contouring my nose with the Kat Von D concealer brush. Then using one of my favorite furless cosmetic brushes, I'm picking up two of the highlight shades from the Kat Von D kit just to dust away the powder that I had still under my eyes and add even more brightness and coverage. For my brows, I'm using my Pony Cosmetics Brow Brush and the black shade in the Suva Beauty Neutral Necessities palette. I made them a bit archier than normal to really show how moody I am today. Then using the lightest shade in the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette, just dusting that under my brow bone and then using the light brown shade in the crease, just barely. Then I bravely chose to do a wing with my Pony Cosmetics Pegasus Liner. This is my like 10th attempt at trying to explain to you how I do my wing liner and I just can't. So just watch, take some notes. I'm too sick. Actually, to be honest, this wing didn't even turn out that great. Don't take any notes. Also, they were quite uneven. Now I'm using my new favorite mascara, Perversion by Urban Decay. I like that it's called Perversion. And then using Social Eyes Lashes in Seductress and their glue and their lash tool. Just stick the lash down in the center of your eye and then pull the outer corner down and stick it on and then pull the inner corner down and stick it on. And then I like to kind of pinch the lashes down to my lash line. Yeah. 
definitely in need of a fake healthy glow today, so I'm using my Metal Clown highlighter from the Beauty Arsenal. Some pink for my cheeks. I'm using the Blushing Bride Blush by Tarte. It's so pretty. I guess this is what I do when I am looking for things. Don't worry, I found it. Using my Sugar Pill Precise Liner Brush and Pony Cosmetics Main Stain in the shade Palomino to put on my freckles and making super cute faces. Just going over these with my sponge because I went a little freckle crazy. My grumpy ass was really annoyed that I had to sharpen my lip liner. This is Peekaboo Neutral Lip Liner from NYX Cosmetics and I've really been liking a really straight across top lip shape if that makes any sense. Kind of like a fish. Then using the prettiest nude ever, Unspoken Truth by DNA Cosmetics. And then I went over that a tiny bit with Lucid from Black Label Cosmetics just to make it a little bit lighter. Then some translucent powder, a little bit more lip liner, and ya done. To keep it all in place, I am spraying my All Nighter Spray from Urban Decay and it feels so good. Then putting on my cute ass wig from Uniwigs and I'm done! Thank you so much for watching. Ah. Uh... Oh, make sure you subscribe because I have a uh, how to make your wig look gooder tutorial coming. So that'll be fun. Actually, it, it was fun. I already did it. Surprise! Shit! Please like and subscribe. It's very much appreciated.